Now today's topic is morally, uh, majorly based on the types of companies as per the Companies Act 2013. Now, according to the law, according to the statute, if we talk about, we are talking about the Companies Act 2013. Now, there are this can be classified into three categories. First is the registered companies under the Companies Act. Earlier, it was Companies Act 1956. Prior to that, it was 1913. Now, it is Companies Act 2013. Apart from the Companies Act 2013, we also have the corporations. Here, the term corporations defi uh, is defined as body corporates. They are not a company as per Companies Act. They are rather defined as a separate legal entity in the form of a body corporate, which is actually known as a statutory corporate. Statutory corporation is a corporation. Corporation means a separate legal entity an artificial person which is created by a statute that means it is governed by a separate special law say for example if we talk about rbi we talk about sbi we talk about lic they have their separate acts they are not registered under the companies act as a company rather they are governed by its own their own separate law so these are statutory corporations Another type which was prevalent at the time of British rule, that is the chartered company or the charter company, that is, they are, that is a concept under the British rule. So prior to independence, we in India had also followed the concept of chartered companies. Why these companies are known as chartered companies? Because the companies are recognized as a company under the British rule when the name of the company is actually enrolled on the Royal Charter of the British Empire. So that is way beyond, way, way back before independence. So this is not our criteria. We will be slightly talking about the statutory corporations because these are some corporates, some legal entities which are not governed by the Companies Act. So our main focus is on the registered company, that is a company which is formed and registered under Companies Act 2013. So keeping down this particular arrow on the basis of registration, that is what, what all companies are classified as a registered companies, it can be classified into normally three or even we can say normally two types of companies. First is a private company. Second is a public company, two clause 68 and two clause 71. Another type of company, one person company, two clause 62, is nothing but a type of private company only. OPC is a type of private company only. But yes, in the com entire Companies Act, a special uh, rules have been defined in case of one person company. That's why we have mentioned it uh, into the separate column. So private company is defined under two clause 68, very important. 2 clause 71 refers to the definition of public company. 2 clause 62 defines the concept of one person company. It, is, it should be noted that one person company is also a type of private company only. Now, whether you are opening a private company or a public company or a uh, uh, one person company, any of the three companies can be further classified, or I can say all of the three companies can be classified into three types of companies. That is on the basis of liability, a company can be limited by shares, it can be limited by guarantee, it can be limited, unlimited company defined under two clause 92. Now the very basic concept of a company which we have discussed yesterday is the concept of separate legal entity and limited liability. The members are limitedly liable to pay the debts of the company only to the amount undertaken by them so how much amount you have undertaken to pay to the company is either defined by your shares or by the amount of guarantee which you have undertaken so we will be discussing this particular concept in the next slide that in the case of company limited by guarantee also the company may have the share capital the company may not have the share capital and discussing each of the category in the further slides Further, on the basis of control, very important, two types of companies are specifically defined under the Companies Act, that is holding and subsidiary company, very important, two clause 46 and two clause 87. We will be reading this particular two types of companies together.
On the basis of control, there is another type of company, two clause. Six, that is associate company. We will be discussing in brief what is associate company also. On the basis of ownership, the government company is also defined where the majority of the shares, we will be discussing what do you mean by majority of the shares, majority of the voting rights, I must say. Two clause 45 defines the government company. Two clause 42 defines the foreign company. We will be discussing it one by one. On the basis of objectives, there can be certain other types of companies that is non-profit. That is one of objective to serve the society. Investment, another objective. Producer company, another objective. Nidhi, we will be discussing it. Dormant company, just ke purpose kuch alag hai. To uh, section 455. So we will be discussing in brief each and every class of company. So starting with the types of company, the first basis in which uh, on which the companies can be classified is the basis of statute. As we have discussed, we will be talking much about the registered company. That is a company which is registered under the Companies Act. So Section 2, Clause 20 of this particular Act defines a company, which is the company means a company which is incorporated under Companies Act 2013. Or even if you have registered yourself as a company before the Companies Act 2013, that is might, might be a company is way back registered under Companies Act 1956, which got repealed after the Companies Act 2013 came into force. So, it's not that we will not those companies as a company. We will also register them in the Companies Act. And we will say that now you have the prevailing law of the land, that is Companies Act 2013, will follow them. This is a company that we have registered in the year 2001, the Act was registered in 1956, but today the Act is not in 1956, the Act is in 2013, so I need to comply with the provisions of the Companies Act 2013, since 1st April 2014. Next is the statutory corporations. These are not registered under the Companies Act. They are constituted, they are actually incorporated by the Special Act of Parliament. If we talk about RBI, that is also body corporate, but it has a separate entity under RBI Act 1934. It is not a company under the Companies Act. So there might be some types of corporations. LIC is registered under LIC Act. So there might be certain organizations who develop, who are actually established and incorporated under a separate law passed by the parliament in case of a central law or passed by the state legislature in case of a state law. So these will also be uh, categorized as a corporate, as a body corporate or statutory corporation. They are not normally, they are not governed by the Companies Act. What is the role of Companies Act in terms of statutory corporations, we will be discussing it. Now, chartered companies. The chartered companies, again, ye us zamane ki baat thi, when the sovereign authority of the state were granting the special charter, the special privilege to a corporation. That is not relevant now in India.